<laughs> We're siblings and we co-directed this film. It's our first future. We, we've been co-directing for eight years, but we've been wanting for a long time to do this movie uh, that you will see here. It was, as Diana was telling us, uh, written by our father long, long time, long, long time ago on a typewriting machine and, and everything before computers even. So it's been a story that's very personal to us. It's a very familiar project and we hope to enjoy it. Thank you very much all for being here um, and enjoying the film. We will be back for a few minutes, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before uh, really having the casting and everything was working with teenagers, it kind of at first worried us the fact that they were so young, that they were um, most probably non-actors, the ones we would have to work with, and it ended up being like that. It was the first movie for uh, Paula and Salvador is is the second movie for Fernando, um, and they all came into the film uh, through different parts. It, it was a long process, long casting process. Uh, Paula, we know her since she was we first knew her since she was two three years old, and we didn't see her, her for a while, and we saw her again when she was fifteen, and I think ever since we both agreed with our father that she was the one who should be Paula. Um, and in the case of Salvador, he's a younger brother of a friend of ours, and we just saw him on the party of her friend, and we, we talked between us, and we told both of us, uh, it should be Salvador, he had like the Salvador personality and everything. And with Fernando, we have known him through his first film, we like shared this um, award ceremony. So even though we opened like a big casting process and we saw a lot of teenagers, which I mean they were good, our intuition always got us back to these three uh, characters. So the the thing that we did with Salvador and Paula that they've never done a film before, we gave them like a introduction course to acting, and then we did um, like. We play games with them surrounding their character, not with the scenes in particular, but with the things uh, around the movie. And we started to create a personal connection with each one of them. Mariana, for example, um, with Paula created a very beautiful um, bonding that helped for the confidence in the naked scenes. And myself, for example, I, I developed a good relationship with Theo, the, the youngest actor, the youngest actor, for us to be able to to engage in the in the more difficult scenes and to, to open. Yeah. Um, lucky to have a father that's a screenwriter and a writer because I think we can get to know him better by his films. Not only as an author, but also as a human being. I think many of the things that uh, repeat a lot in his movies um, define him who he is as a person. This script it was written when he was 30 years old, 35 years old, so he was kind of our age, and one of the things that we wanted to do while doing this film was to get to know him, to who he was back then and what his fears were. Um, this film was ignited by the fear he was a really young father when he wrote this. It was written 30 years ago. And he always asked the question, what would happen if I die? And how would my kids be able to move on with their life? So we wanted to explore this um, proximity with him to who he was back then. See, and I would also like to add that uh, we are very close, close family, so he's been trying to take us everywhere he goes, he and my mother, everywhere they go since we were little. And all, all of his world they have shared to us, so this, this movie, specifically the place where the ending happens, the desert, it's a place we've, we've both been going since we were kids every single year. Um, so he has been able to do this movie uh, and to share his world and now his passions have become in a way ours. And so it, it, it was a great experience. Yeah, so as Diana said, we're a really close family. Um, one of the things that we wanted to do with this film was to keep it a young film. So it was our first future film. 
it was the first film that my father ever wrote. So it was a uh, that it was the, the first time the, the actors did a movie. So we wanted to keep the young spirit in the in the construction. Yeah, in the construction. Um, yeah, um, when we read again the script, uh, so many years after, we had like a gathering, a family gathering, to read the script and to see uh, what was going to be the final script, and it basically remained the same. We only discussed uh, the ending, which we will not say which was the other alternative, <laughs> but this is what we came to, that was the best um, possible way to, to finish the story. And we also wanted to keep the, uh, we grew up in the 90s, so for us it was important to keep the, the, the time when it was written, which was when we were growing up, where people fought for the TV, you know, and now everyone has their own screen. Um, yeah, with no internet no connection, that brings, brought us a lot of nostalgia for the project. If I may add, what, so what forgive, it? sorry, yeah, don't yeah. forget. <laughs> what, what we were doing the film, we chose a word that described better what this film was about. Um, and we concluded it was about liberation and about grief. Um, so what we wanted to do with, with this film was to show that there's life after the pain. And how are they, someone be able to move on after they experience this pain? Yeah, the, this film is about the, every character here is going through a pain and, and a process of grief and how everybody uh, tries to overcome that, uh, that moment of their lives. Um, yeah, so, so at the end, I think in a way Paula guides them to understand that they're not really looking for revenge because even though they kill the guy, they, their pain will be still the same, so she 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 teaches them uh, that what they really need is a kind of forgiveness and to move on. So it's a it's about as a tale of liberating the pain uh, they've been going through all these years. Working together for eight years now, we had a production company together. We directed three short films and lots of other type of projects, and. So this one was like our proof that we can, can do it together. Um, Marlene is not only my sister, she's my friend, she's my uh, co-director, and for me it's a privilege. Directing can sometimes become a lonely job, and being able to share it with someone that uh, you share the taste that you love is, for me, a, a privilege. See, and it's also very important to share the ways you interact with people and you 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 kind of work with a team. I I don't think I could be able to direct with it, to co-direct with anyone that's not him. Um because we not only share taste and kind of a sensibility but also we share values and way of working. I don't think so. I think uh, since the story was per perceived it was perceived this way and it's a way that him and we wanted to, to achieve it, maybe in, in in another world it happened. But for this particular film, I think what we wanted to portray was the pain of these young characters trying to overcome their, their grief. What we do know is that at first when he wrote it, he wanted to direct it. So now it was like a huge demonstration of love letting, letting us do it. Um, we have to do it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and if they don't, they will find a way. They will manage. Yeah. <laughs> they will maybe work in a restaurant, so for <laughs>